Hey everyone, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. OM Game, the answer to what the film. This is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Gix Maddox. And today we're going to take a look at the 2005 just amazing blockbuster <laughs> event, uh, Indigo Prophecy, which is apparently also known as Fahrenheit. Right. And uh, I, uh, I did not know about that. Going to be played for us by Perizing. Perizing, a good sport, going through a lot of these old things. Not, not for us. I mean, they've been around for years, but uh, we're, we're taking advantage of it. Links down below. Uh, for now, are we ready to jump into this? Uh, yes. Oh, from the makers of Pong. You know, it's yep. going to be good. Uh, do you happen to know whether Fahrenheit... I think Fahrenheit must have been the American one, and then Indigo Prophecy, the European name. Is that what it was? Because I, I only have ever heard of it as Indigo Prophecy. Um, I wonder if it's maybe, is it, could it be the other way around? I mean, I, it but Indigo, could be. Would they but know it, or care what Fahrenheit means? Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. But do we? Do they know or care what an Indigo Prophecy is? <laughs> Fair enough. Now, from what I recall, this... Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's doing the tutorial. Hi. My name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director. That's David of Cage. I just thought there's Hi, a few David. things you should know before you get he, started. He made Indigo okay. Prophecy, like Heavy Rain. Bob. You'll be controlling him while um, you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. I can't remember what Move all else, but they they all have sort of a similar uh, style to them. That's the thing. I, I I when I was looking up when this came out, Heavy Rain came up as a like similar one and I was like oh I thought that was the same game um, <laughs> and uh, and I think there's one other that I think this is the same game as but maybe they're all from David Cage now if, if I recall perfect correctly you know to move about. this is You're so also bizarre going to have to be able um, to if I recall correctly this game had a lot of hype about it and then kind of camera. fell short is Come that on, kind of the uh, yeah it was um, you know and anytime someone spouts this is a new kind of gaming um, it's gonna fall short, and uh, as I recall, that that was also look around you and see exactly how what they you talked it see. up. It's got a shower wow. scene, so that's new, you know. Wow, David Cage, you can look around to see different things. You really are an innovator. <laughs> the tutorial's a little silly. Uh, I don't know <laughs> why they use that model. Uh, but you won't be just looking around you in Fahrenheit. You'll also have to interact with your environment. So he Go says the Fahrenheit door. there. I, so that's really it's so strange. Do you see the I'm sure the wiki the would tell us screen? all this, but it indicates the movement. You yeah, have I think to Fahrenheit is the original title. Action. Do it slowly to really feel your I, controlling. I, your a door now. without any sort of context. I just want to hear the Twilight Zone theme cut in. No, 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 no. That's cool. Not that you that's know how cool. to move that. I didn't know you could do that. Interact with the environment. <laughs> We can move on to more I've really just stuff. been cashing the checks Fahrenheit and drinking. Action sequences where your character's life will be Normally the tutorial, they like to have this to you more you in the style of the wrong. game. Yeah, I, I, it kind of makes me wonder, like, will there be fourth wall breakage throughout the game? I don't recall any, but it has been a while since I played this. When this symbol oh, yeah, stretch those screen, abs. Get that tricep action in there. That's good. Effort. You'll see. You'll be exhausted too. This is one of the main mechanisms of the the game, where you press the A and D hey, quickly to perform an now extended action. More difficult. If if I recall, it. I swear, I think Penny cool Arcade did some good commentary on this or whatever, and and it Let's was that. The, the, there were supposed to be all these amazing cutscenes, and instead, like the cutscenes have the kind of like you have to hit a certain button. Oh God! That's what can happen. Yeah, uh, off to a great start here, Perizing. Try again. Quick time events are yeah, quick are time pretty new are. here. I think. Yeah, that's the that's the term I was looking for. Why does it look like he's playing on an old Simon? <laughs> yeah, it's just the way they. Okay. Uh, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something. Kids these days love the you Simon references. You can also references. choose what you want to say in dialogues in Fahrenheit. Let's give it a try. I used um, to love my Simon game when I was a kid. Bob? Oh, didn't we all? Hey, Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogue. <laughs> in Fahrenheit, you'll only have a limited amount of time. You didn't give me a response, I just mind. don't care. So you'd better think fast. 
Now, so this is Tommy Wiseau without his wig, right? <laughs> he talks a little faster than Tommy. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. What is, what is his accent, do you think? Otherwise you may fall into depression, European. Madness, or <laughs> oh, Macy. Oh, I nearly forgot something important. In Finite, you'll be there able to control There will be spiders. So many spiders. Characters. Be careful. More like giant Your lice. Every action will have consequences for the story. Or giant A word please. of advice. Think before you act. Our actions will have consequences. That's it. I've told you, you know, everything I know. I, I get everything. that that was kind of a There's new concept at the time, but, discover, it, but it's still, it's like, even in Mega Man, if you don't defeat now Leaf Man, it has a consequence, you right. know? Be careful. You're it has world consequences beyond game over, I guess. All right, David Cage, you've, or David Cage, whatever it was, you have prepped us for this, uh, Quantic Dream. That's yeah. the company. A solace, of, or a quantum of solace, just, damn it. There's some there's some joke to be made there. Things are never quite what they I'll take your word for it. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside. What it All seems right, fair to enough. Be. I used to be just like you. I believed in just, humanity, just like newspapers, me? soap commercials, politics, and history books. Those day, soap commercials are a dirty lie. <laughs> and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe okay, it was supposed so that's to happen. Most Maybe stories. It was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know whatever. one thing for sure. It's awfully talky for an intro. Again. This asymmetrical V neck shirt. <laughs> Fine eye. All right, David Cage, or I mean Lucas Cage, or is he? Does he? Did he just name the main character after himself? That's a little. It all started right here. Where else? Could Vegas, it New York, capital oh. of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I think he's going for a noir feel here. I was just another here. pawn living my yeah. pawn's life. Tools Until that manager. night, when my life descended into chaos. Tools manager. That's that's actually what they call the people who keep the uh, the actors in check. I was thinking maybe like the dildo prop manager. <laughs> Not quite that advanced a game. <laughs> oh, there, there goes, uh, Cis oh god, what was his name? Cedric Cedric the Owl? No, Cedric Diggory is the character. Where that? Uh, Hedwig. Like? Hedwig. Really? Yeah, like from Hed Oh my god, Angelo Badalamenti did this music. Nice. Oh hey! Cool. Well, we're both fans of that. Yeah. David Cage. Did, did that raven just push the window open? You'll thrill to the exciting urinal scene. <laughs> it's kind of like the end of Bullet, right? Like, we're humanizing this character, but now he's going to go have an amazing chase scene. <laughs> Something like that. How long does this dude have to urinate? That's the biggest mystery of all. <laughs> I used to be like you, taking 17-minute urinal breaks. Okay, so is this guy dreaming about knives? Or no, okay. The um, the the early parts of the game, the player is is mostly saying, "What the fuck is going on?" Which I I for one I like that in the game. Okay, that was I mean, but this is just ridiculous. Like <laughs> shots of a raven's eye mixed with. It all makes a sort of sense eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's, he's kind of a Templar. So this is a little Assassin's Creed-ish. He's like a zombie Assassin's Creed, I guess. You know, we've all had days like this. Is, is that us, or is this just some random person stabbing a guy? Um, I'll, I'll not... leave that as a mystery for now. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure... It, if it's we're not playing it's the ladder, we're not playing this. <laughs> All right. Being played. <laughs> this this dude he just killed must be British, and he didn't even cry out when he gets stabbed. Oh, like, Pop oh my! <laughs> oh, good heavens! I seem <laughs> to have been stabbed. 
No, pardon me for getting in your way there. Oh, is this a psycho pump? I'm just gonna try to throw that in every time now. Yeah. I I think it's actually an appropriate use of the word in this case. Uh, did did he just get off there? Because it kind of looked what? like he did. What what have I done? Oh, the mood meter. That's another innovation. Right now he's fifty percent depressed. Before we had like sanity I, meters I and things like that in games. It was like a dream. I just think it's amusing that he's like, whoa, I just stabbed a dude and thought I was a Templar. I'm gonna be a little depressed over that. So he is he is our playable dude now, as soon as we're done with our little cutscene. Quick. I I've I've gotta get out of here, but before somebody comes in here. Maybe I should order a pastry to cheer myself up with my mood meter. <laughs> I was very stressed out uh, playing this game for this part. Do. It gives you little, little bumps of clues here and there as you walk around. Now we're gonna clean up the blood. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now A B A B A B A B A B A B. Do the Konami cheat code, and you can have it done in seconds. I'm really feeling better about having murdered that guy. <laughs> You're not quite done yet, buddy. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. I could put it in that corpse. Meanwhile, the three dollar special on cheese fritters goes unnoticed. <laughs> Wait, way to spot the the important details. <laughs> I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. I'll have to rip my skin off. Oh, oh, right, right. It's awesome. That, that works too. It's uh, really a, a getting away with murder simulator. I like that it's the same little musical sting anytime you do something. That didn't get our. Okay, there's our anxiety. Out of order. I can't use just one sink. Blood in the sink. Yeah. Empty. You don't need any condoms. I really want to fuck that guy. We've all been there. Coin. <laughs> Might come in handy. I can put the coin in the sink. I wonder how well our player is doing. There are a couple ways this can go. Some of them are end game outcome mm. and some are not. He did allow us to see him screwing up in the tutorial so he got hit. I wonder if he'll go through some of the deaths. I, sometimes that's just as amusing as the game. Right. Oh, the music helped. He still mysteriously murdered a guy, but he's less stressed about it. Right. Oh, wow, a special on cheese fritters. <laughs> I just ate my fork. I'm 5% more stressed now. Now he's just tense. Should have switched to decaf. Coffee? I never drink it. I hate it. Was I with someone? Whose seat am I, I at? Or anything at all. Did I even pick the... Is this my order? Uh, dots, I guess? That's about all I could get out of that. Doc's Diner. Man, you know, it was really messy in that bathroom. I think I'd feel a lot less stressed if I just went in and did one more... One more round with the... Uh, oh god, the mop. Looks like he's kind of doing good here, but if he missed any of those steps, this neighborhood before the police get here. The uh, the cop at the counter there would uh, catch him at it, or if he was too slow. Uh. Yeah, he did it much faster than I did. I I cut it very close. I was walking out the door just as the cop was going into the bathroom. I see. So that's kind of a predetermined length before the cop goes in there. Yeah. It's possible Man. starting the music slowed that down. Hmm. Oh. The 823rd department? How big does David Cage think New York is? <laughs> Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. 
I'm Captain Policeman. Stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. I thought you just said you were a policeman. You, the police are here. No docs, not dots. Yeah, this must be the European release because everything's. Uh, uh, it's dying. That's it. You know, it was 27 slash 01. Before they start killing each other in the middle of the night. Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. Well, don't put your head <laughs> on the, the freezing car if you're that cold. I guess Fahrenheit was the European Five release years name? Force, I've huh. seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. You just learn to live with that. Fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got. So I guess now we're playing her. As if some part of me already. Yeah, oddly enough, you play the murderer and then you play the cop. What was I doing with this man in his car? Do we even know each other? How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. Normally, become a policeman at night. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client. Well, we had to choose one of those I before the, the timer body. ran out? Yeah. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Or you could just watch the cutscene. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, It's very strange that John you start Winston, the game trying to hide here at the, restaurant. the details of the murder, and then the very next scene you're the cop trying to find all the clues. Yeah. Of course, the player the knows where the clues in the are. Restaurant at the time? Right. Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. One of them had a bloody knife in his hand, but he seemed I'm nice enough. That table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah. No, Kate that's Morrison. a dog. Yes, it's the waitress. I think that you should interrogate her. She's you don't an observant saying, detective. Go man. easy on her, Inspector. <laughs> She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's I wonder how tense our detective is here. <laughs> I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate. I imagine we'll find out shortly. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Oh, okay, so we can we can be either one of the detecting duo. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. So they're like the CSI guys, I guess? I guess. Why are you going back there? Oh, drinking coffee always makes you feel better in this game. So... <laughs> That's why they hired Angelo Badalamenti for the music. Exactly. They were like, who does the best coffee drinking sound effects? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that did get her less less stressed. All right. I don't normally order coffee. Hmm. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? She's a little cross-eyed. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That That's weird. looks really unappealing. He's a caffeine there. Alert. Yeah. Ralph wasn't alone. Gray is not Gotta really a color I'm looking for in my food. It's really that strange to have a soft drink and coffee? Uh, I've seen quite a few people do it. A diaper. Book. Oh, no, book. Okay. Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. It is it? Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for prints? You got it, Carla. What would be like a normal Tracy book for a killer to have? The killer Catcher was in the at Rye. Came back and sat down after the. It's a historical reference, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Not right away, though. I mean. No need to hurry. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had what? known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night. Not gotten out <laughs> till it was all over. That's the problem. If 
we knew ahead of time what was going to happen. You can sort of see why a lot of a lot of people uh, critically were not fans of this game. Mm -hmm. I liked it. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Uh, you should be. Hey, my face is up now. here, Tyler. <laughs> no, no, Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. And she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. In bed. It's pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Gary. My lips are chapped. I, okay, it's weird how apparently he's, like, I, narrative I find very strange in games like this, because apparently this is all a flashback that he was, hey, because he's you know talking about how I would have just stayed in bed, the bar just yet now we have to have him solve you are the, the crime, you know? Yeah. Was sin but a dream? I guess he needs some coffee too. Just drink out of this thing that Carla made, and that's fine. I think the coffee maker needs servicing. It's kind of yeah. steaming there. Also, I hope that coffee wasn't hot. My god, he just like tore out his larynx. <laughs> Will someone go in the damn bathroom? Jeez. Yeah, no, we are just studiously avoiding that bathroom. I think our uh, our player is going completionist here, because he's doing a lot of things I didn't know were options. What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. Now call her again. <laughs> Why did I do that? Too bad you wiped off all the fingerprints that were on the phone. Hmm. I am purposefully not going to go into that bathroom. I just don't see a point. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. No bathroom out here. Blood. Killer is wounded. Don't eat it. Car comes by and crashes through her. Just like in a tutorial. <laughs> the taxi. Why did noticing a taxi make her less tense? I don't know. I never noticed that taxi when I played. I went into the creepy alley behind the diner. Hmm. Which I imagine she'll get to eventually. There's a taxi. The killer might have left. <laughs> She doesn't seem that cold. I think she was faking it earlier. Kate? Dry your polygon, I'm Inspector Kate. Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? Okay, no. but only if you ask Go them ahead. in quick time format. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really Normal pay guy any attention with a bloody to knife, about six foot Did two. Did you know the victim well? It's funny, every time he talked, I heard chanting and... Came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. When you're, when you're having to do that, to do you just, like, kind of... Swivel the little controller around Could and just, I mean, because yep. anything is going to no, be fine, right? I don't think so. You can yeah, only you get in with the joystick. Door. If somebody else had come in, an Atari joystick? <laughs> no. Was John here alone? This is Did from Atari. It's from Atari, John yes, but it's not alone on Atari. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. What's up with your head, Carla? I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. 
I mean, he did scream, I'll kill you, you son of a bitch, I'll kill you with my knife. But beyond that, they didn't talk at all. <laughs> coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. They couldn't find a New Yorker to do the New York accent? Strange. I, I can't really remember. I remember him very clearly, but I'm not sure if he was with anyone or not. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't Pictured even here. see John get up. <laughs> oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. Now I hope we get to play as the waitress. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. And then Martin at John the bar. Up and went to the rest <laughs> then you, you drink some the coffee and cheer up. Him. You put on a song and, then he must and cheer snuck up. Out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom. And that's when he found John. And screamed like a girl. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't in, answer. In the restroom? He just stared straight ahead. It's weird. It's a full service diner. I didn't push it. <laughs> I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think I mean, he didn't even say anything about the $3 cheese for the special. Place. Perfect. Do you think that you could come You're down to the station on special there. Help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. All right, now we're going to have to make you do it by sitting you in a room with Patrick Swayze behind you while you sculpted out of clay. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now. Martin at the bar sleep. just got up. Martin will make sure you get home. And, yeah, <laughs> say enter Martin from the bar. Let's do it. Let me distract you with my sweet, sweet penis. Well, she kind of flickered out of existence there. <laughs> it Good happens. Night. All right, look. I don't want to hear a word about the fact that I haven't looked in the goddamn bathroom yet. All right, from neither of you two. I ain't, I ain't gonna look in the bathroom either. I don't care. Mom says this was the guy's table. <laughs> Is it like steak a potato? Ste it's it's like a steak. Like a baby touched his food. It's a really overdone steak. <laughs> Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Drink more coffee. Keep up the good work, Tyler. I called somebody. That's cool, right? Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. So it's weird because Carla doesn't get these inner dialogues talking to us, does she? Uh, I don't recall any. So he's the one who's narrating this, not... No, I guess we did hear from, uh, from the other guy a little bit. Yeah. Side of the chest. In the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Look, this is boring in here. Let's go hunt down that waitress again. I got some things I could still ask her about. Like the special on the... Cheese fritters. Cheese fritters. Oh, I thought she was going to get less tense from fixing her hair. I like that the second you start playing somebody else, the other character is like, Oh, time to put this on Twitter. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Look, my paycheck wasn't that great last soul quarter. Do quarters. you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, I can't yeah, remember I, where he stowed the knife. They I'll did that off camera. Bizarre. You'll what? find it eventually. Well, he sure. still has his credit yeah. card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Maybe it's some sort of indigo prophecy. Dun dun dun. Blood Blood him up. The, the killer must have used it. Kind of a weird looking mom. 
Why would he risk yeah. being caught? Yeah, looks like maybe there's a skull hidden underneath it. <laughs> Poofing it out like that. Why is there blood here? Did you find maybe, anything? Possibly. Maybe somebody I hasn't been eating a lot of fiber. Jeez, here. Carla. Maybe She's so judgmental. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. And we'll know Get for sure. Garrett on the case. Now let's play Garrett. Why was I in this FBI analysis lab? A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the murder weapon. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim. I'll say this for the player. He would seem to indicate that the found a lot more to do than I did when I played this game. Hmm. Tyler, there's a knife a decade I mean, I'm ago. I'm assuming weapon. that on these long Get plays, there. the sure players like have an FAQ right at hand, ready okay. to go, and take out any like boring crap. I mean, I don't know. Or maybe Parazing is just really damn. Uh, so what I'm looking for starts with an I. Intuitive. Maybe. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. You think? Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Or. Maybe he shook the corpse over that sink and squeezed the blood out like an orange. A blood orange. Mm. Don't talk hey, to Garrett, me. Oh. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. God, can't she just let these murders go? I mean, really. It's cold out. <laughs> Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. Oh, he grew now up she's talking to us. Before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Also, looking at him makes my eyes go cross. <laughs> you ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. There's an alley. Sure? Go look at we the can alley. Take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's oh. No, we don't care okay, about the alley, I guess. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. <laughs> right, maybe the alley doesn't come into play, because when I played it, I went out the back door. Mm, probably a lot of red herrings. Or maybe you were playing the English version, and there's no alley in the European version. <laughs> Europeans don't have alleys. <laughs> That's right. Okay, well, they're leaving. I think it's about time for us to leave, too. We'll, uh wait and see if there's anything exciting that happens here before we switch scenes, but I can't wait to see whom we might play next. <laughs> it looks like his, his license plate says Sergeant M Sergeant Mr. Rez. Okay, there we go. We're, uh, we're changing scenes, so we're going to change out for now. Right. Uh, until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Skix Maddox. And we are...